Hi my beautiful family and welcome to this video. I'm so happy to have this collection, Cash Beauty's Color Trip Collection, here in front of me today. And if you want to see me playing with this product and create a makeup look and hear my thoughts, then please keep on watching. This came today to my door and I got so happy and excited. I already wet the sponge because I'm going to tr try it. I do have the regular one, the first one, the black. Love it, so I know this is going to work as good as that one. I have also the new lashes. Really fluffy, I don't know if you can see. Come on, this is a beautiful lash. I have the brush set and this outside packaging. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful and love, love these brushes. I have the first collection that, that has the gold details, but I have to be honest, I think I prefer this, uh, this kind of, uh, I don't know, brush set. I think it's so beautiful and so beautiful to look at. So I have the brushes I'm going to create. I can't even speak, it's kind of late. It's actually almost 8 p.m. when I'm creating this video, but I couldn't keep my hands from this collection. And of course, this is the palette. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I've been sitting downstairs with this palette in my hand, looking at the shades and having so many ideas in my head that my husband asked me, do you want to, do you know what, you, what you're going to create? And I was like, no, I have no idea because I have so many ideas. I can't actually decide and I have no idea if it's going to look good, but I'm going to try today. We'll try one. And I'm definitely filming more videos with this palette. Look, I hope it has a nice big mirror. Look at these shades. Oh my gosh. And I have never tried these kind of eyeliners. I've never created any makeup look with graphic eyeliners. I think that's what it's called. I have no idea. So I am going to try today and I'm kind of nervous because let's peel this off. Oh. Look, oh my God, I have so many makeup looks in my hand. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but we are going to play. We are going to try and create. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm a makeup lover. I have no idea how to use some things, but <clears throat> we'll do our best. I'll do my best. So let's go into this video finally. I already have some water in front of me because these liners are water activated. But I do want to put some primer on and I'm going to use my uh, Glam Light Eye Icing Eyeshadow Base. Because it's late and I'm not going to, you know, go out with this makeup look, I'm not going anywhere. I am actually going to not set my base. Usually I always set my base, but I'm not going to do that today. Let's go with this small. This has to be one of my favorite brushes. This is number, I don't know what number it is. It doesn't have a number. Fluffy bullet brush. I'm kind of sad that it doesn't have number or names on the brush, but this small blending one. And I think I want to create something that's maybe bright and then go a little bit yellow and orange and brown. I think I'm going to do that. And I'll, I'll play with some liner. I have no idea how that's going to look, but we'll see. I do want to use uh, this white shade, Glam, Gleam or Glam, and bright it up here. This shade you can use to actually, uh, oh, it's pigmented. You can build it up, but you can use to make the shades lighter and blend them together. And I also feel like you always need a bright shade, like white shade in the palette, if you have so many colors. For me, that's a must. I know some people don't use it, but I think a black and white should always be in the palette. I don't usually use black as often as maybe other people do, but I still feel like it's a palette. That, it's a, not a palette, but it's a color that needs to be a palette that contains these many colors. I'm going to clean 
my brush in between on a small makeup removal towel and then I'm going to go in oh I really want to go into this neon yellow I have so many ideas for makeup looks oh, such a I don't know if you can see how beautiful this shade is I think you need to use it in real life to appreciate these colors. This palette makes me want to film videos five days a week. I know I don't have time, uh, but it feels like I should have some time for that. Okay, I do want to go into this brave color here, the orange one, with the same brush. I'm still using this small fluffy blending brush and it has to be one of my favorite brushes. They are pigmented. Um, and I'm going to go in back and forward with these colors and blend them. And I do want to go into this red, that's hot stuff. I'm a little bit nervous to use this palette because <laughs> I want to create something new and interesting and something outside my com comfort zone but I don't want to mess it up and I'm scared that I'm going to do that because I'm not that talented but I think makeup is just so interesting and beautiful to play with and there are actually no rules but still it feels a little bit scary. Oh, I love how it looks. Okay, then we are going to go in with Vibes, this shade here, that's like orange brown shade. I am going to go in and use the same brush. I'm just cleaning it to this white and kind of try to blend a little bit the edges, but not too much because I am going to try to put the eyeliner there. So this is what makes me nervous. And we are going to go into this, okay, this small brush and I'm going to go in in this in these water, water activated liners liners eyeliners uh, and I'm having water so I'm going to dip it here um, go in the palette try to create something I don't know how it's going to look not going to talk during the time because I don't I want to make it as nice as possible so I'm going to clean it on the towel and go back into water and we'll see if what we can create. So she said to use water and not setting spray so you don't get the setting spray into the palette. I don't know how much, but okay, it's showing. You know, I don't know how much I can go with the water. It scares me to put the water in here. Okay, so can see no you can't see but oh this is pigmented Keep this feeling, keep on breathing Even if we're slipping 
I created a eyeliner like this, so I want to try to pack these colors a little bit more to make them more vibrant. I mean, the liner is not perfect, but they're so fun to use. This is my first time trying something like this. They're not even, my eyes are definitely not even, but who cares? I still think it looks fun. So I am going to pack the colors on and I do want to create the same liner. No, I don't, maybe I don't. Let's see, I'm going to use this brush, this flat that comes. And I'm going to try to pack the white and the yellow and everything again to make them more vibrant. Okay, so this is, uh, I think this looks okay. I mean, it looks fun. It could definitely look much better. So this is my first attempt doing something outside my comfort zone. And what I like about these liners, they are easy to remove because they are water activated. So when you do a mistake, it's easy to remove them. Um, but I think this is, I try to blend as much as possible, but I know it doesn't look perfect, but it's so much fun to try the products and uh, yeah, play with the palette. Uh, it's easy to learn how to use the liners. I think this looks actually fun. I think it looks fun. Um, but I do want to go in with maybe green liner and connect the green. Should I? Yes, let's let's use as many as possible that it looks like a mess, but why not? This looks so fun. I love it. I feel like the biggest challenge is to actually do the same thing on the other eye and try to make it look as <laughs> similar as possible. Oh, I love it. I love how this looks. I really like how it looks. And I think this is so nice to use. Now, uh, you need to learn how much water to put so it doesn't, you know, leak and get too messy. Like I did in the beginning, I had really hard time with these colors because I applied a little bit too much of the water. But you need to use and learn. Okay, I really like it. So it looks so crazy right now. But I am going to finish my rest of my makeup. And I do want to try the ALF Camo CC Cream. I haven't tried this before, so this is also my first impression. Now it's not going to be a weird test because it's too late. Well, wear test, but I do want to apply and see how it's looking on my sorry guys how it's looking on my skin I should maybe put a primer on I'm going to in with with cover effects I don't have a lot of left on this primer that I got from a friend of Valerie and I'm going to go in with this sponge I have two shades here this is the it hurts uh, fair 120 and light 210. Um, I'm going to go in with 210 that it says light. They didn't have a lot of shades to choose from on the website when I purchased it. It's Coco Panda here in Sweden because this just arrived to Sweden. We are always a couple of months late to the game. It feels like we get the products last of all of other countries and I don't get PR so I can't try products before and have it up on my channel but it is what it is let's see this is a light should I shake it or not it's thick I know how much to apply we'll see okay this should be enough how much do you get here it says one to two pumps. We'll apply more than that. I'm going to use the sponge. Hmm. The shade is not bad. A little bit darker than my skin tone, but the sponge is very soft. I love the sponge. Oh my god, this foundation looks really good. Or CC cream. This looks really, really, really good. 
I think it will go nice with the brush too. I love it on my skin. Let's go with the concealer. Joa Beauty Concealer. And when it comes to concealer, I'm going to try to use uh, this flat side because I don't want to mess up my liner. So. Going to set everything with airspun powder with the same side. In this video, I will also use Cash Beauty's face products, cream products. I'm going to go in with Cash Beauty bronzer. This is in shade beach, shady, <laughs> shady beach, shady. Beach. No. <laughs> oh my god. I'll also use blush brush number three and go in with the love language blush and I'll go directly like this because this is how I love using it. I'll, this is the best cream blush I've ever used. Of course, we are going to use the highlighter, the C Angel Energy and highlighter brush number five from Cash Beauty. Just do it like this. I'm going to use also Sigma, what's it called, uh, Color and Shape Brow Powder Duo, and also use Cash Beauty's brush. For that, with a spoolie, this is number 11. Go in with the lighter shade first and then, then I'll go with the dark one. And I'm going to fill them too much right now because I feel like that's going to be a nice look. I didn't even use those other two brushes that comes in this collection, but just because I didn't need needed them in this makeup look, but I'm definitely going to create more makeup looks with these brushes and also with this palette. For the low lash line, I do want to go in with, with the yellow shade. I'm going to use this yellow here with this brush that we use all the time today. Yeah, and I'm going to bring these colors lower because I do want that bright look. So I'm cleaning the brush, going in Lucid or Lucid, Lucid, this green shade here. And bring that. Oh, some fall out. And I'm cleaning, going in with the white. Just do soft up the edges. And I do want to go in with this uh, flat brush and just try to build up the white color in the center here. In my waterline, I'm going to go in with the green from uh, Linda Hallberg. This is the crayon green. I think this looks so fun. It's not perfect, I know guys, but it looks fun. Let's put the lashes on. Okay guys, I'm back. This is the final look. Okay, I know it's not perfect. I know I could do better, but 
I just think I did a very good job for the first time using these kind of liners and creating this kind of makeup look. So I think I did a good job. I could definitely, like I said, do a better job, but I think it looks fine. I think it looks okay. So <sighs> I love it. I love it. I think it's very cute, uh, very outside my comfort, comfort zone. I think it's something uh, interesting and I'll definitely continue to play with this palette. I think it's amazing. I have so many ideas. Neutral makeup looks, pink makeup looks, purple makeup looks, blue makeup looks, all of the different makeup looks. These liners are beautiful. Beautiful. It does need a little bit of learning time to see how much water you need. But I think it's a very good quality. Quality. I think they are pigmented. They are easy to work. I love this palette and I love this brand. This is my favorite brand that I know. So... I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Guys, that was everything. I love the brushes too. Uh, brushes are so beautiful. I have all of the brushes. I think this collection is a win and I'll definitely create more makeup looks. So guys, give a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you think about this collection. What colors do you want me to use in the next video? Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell and I see you in my next video. I love you. Bye.